guys welcome back to my channel my name is tia aka teacup simmer and this is another part of our niche series we are back in the abir tribe and in this tribe we have our very strong and fierce matriarch of our tribe abaya and her gaggle of children um mostly boys um who has settled on this island with her mate farid and she has had a I guess you'd call it epiphany of some kind where she decided that growing up in a family of berry pickers she wants to be able to make sure that her family and her descendants are all strong enough to protect themselves from the carnivores and the um, predators and all of the very scary things that are out there on islands and on worlds that she hasn't explored yet and so she she and her mate are teaching their children all about the ways to stay strong to focus on staying together as a tribe as a pack and to kind of pick together enough food so that they'd be able to go to different islands and find new creatures to mate with and become stronger and of course abaya has heard about the barina that are supposedly the one some of the strongest creatures and if any of her descendants mate with the barina it's possible for her descendants to grow stronger as well and i think that's kind of what she's going to encourage her children to do and we have seemed to have started growing a set of two sets of two mindsets in our tribe and i got some really great comments from you guys about um maybe two different sects or like i'm not gonna say religions but two different sects of our tribe that are going to be like warrior minded they're going to be creatures that are definitely going to take the kind the teachings of abaya to heart and try and make sure that they stay strong and focus a lot on strength and on um, being extremely imposing and then they're gonna have creatures who have spent a lot of time near the berry bushes a lot of time with their father farid who is as we've explained even despite his ferocious appearance um is a lot more of a kind soul and so i'm thinking that Farid is going to spend a lot of time with his children over here by the berry bushes trying to teach them how to col collect things because he grew up in the same tribe as Abaya and I think these this side of our tribe is definitely going to focus a lot more on food gathering and to make sure that the tribe is fed and then this another section of the tribe is going to focus a lot on protecting us and I think I got that I got that idea also from watching Jay plays actually she's a great youtuber i'll leave a link to her her channel if you guys haven't seen her already but um in her tribes a lot of the um hybrid creatures end up being protectors more than creature more than collecting creatures because they don't really have any way to collect things and i think that's this really cool idea that we seem to have started this um this conflict between abaya and farid in the first place even though they they care about each other they definitely have different ways of looking at the world and so i think the creatures that um her children that have kind of taken her methodology and her thought process to heart are going to kind of form their own coalition and um, be more focused on breeding for those really strong genes in regards to making sure that they can protect themselves that claw that big body I'm um, hopefully getting some of those barina traits and then we have the other creatures and I'm thinking Adira and Lufti are going to be that side of our tribe and they're going to kind of kind of like venture off and start a section of the tribe that is very focused on berry gathering and hopefully our our um we'll be able to kind of set up our tribe that way and it's going to be very interesting to see how this kind of progresses because i think we're going to have two matriarchal heads we're going to have Rasira, eh, who I think is adorable, but she definitely has all of the things that her mother wants. That claw, that big body, um, that really interesting pattern that'll make her a little bit more imposing, and that she's gonna kind of lead our warrior side. But I know I've been talking a lot, so we're gonna get started by trying to get all of these lovely creatures on to this port, because I think it's the smallest, which means that there might be some more interesting things on that side. Okay, so we're gonna skip the day and I think yeah because everybody's moved already and we're gonna just start kind of moving everyone this way and as we move everyone this way we're gonna try and collect as much as we can up from all of these berry bushes so that when we get to the next place if it's hard for us to find food we won't be like hurting so skip the day 
Look at them. Everybody looks so big. And these two can start having babies now too. They look so cute. I kind of really wanted someone to have Fareed's poison fangs. I don't think anyone has them. Well, she has them inactive and so does he. So maybe their their kids will their kids will be able to kind of drop, toss some babies with poison fang. And it looks like everyone seems to have it inactive. So it's a possibility, which is good. And let's see, we're going to have him pick up some more of this food. Darko is our new one of our newer babies and he's gonna come over this way try and clear out some of this area we're gonna have Adira pick up some more food can he can he clear away this grass I'm, I, I'm, no there's no grass on it okay cool so we're just gonna have him pick up some more berries we're just gonna move everyone this way and I think the what's going to end up happening is that the um, the warrior side of our tribe is going to be very, um, what's it called? Kind of like, a, it's not going to be a queen bee challenge, but it's going to almost be like that because we seem to only have like one, one or two females for all of our males, which is, um, a problem. I'm just going to move her over here. But so it looks like Rasira is going to be in charge of all of these boys. So Amit, Hakim, Nadir, and Boutros, I think, are all the all the babies that are basically going to be her her harem of boys that are going to be following her around because they all can they all are, have the ability to mate with her except for Amit. So I think Amit might try and find a mate. He might. It depends on where he ends up going. He has medium body, so he might stick with um, our our tribe where Lufti and Adira are going to be settling. So we, we're not sure yet what's going to happen with him, but Boutros as the oldest is definitely going to be leading the way to kind of show everyone the best way to go so that they can get all the way over here. And Hakim, let's have him clear this area out and start moving this way. We're just going to try and start picking up berries as we move so that we can get so we can get to the next spot. Ooh, new baby. It's a girl. La Coco. And is she different from, she's different from, from Rasira. Ooh, but she has A and G. She doesn't have, she has medium body and she doesn't have claw. So La Coco, let's see if we can find a name for her. She's super pretty. I love that red. I think we're, I really want a pattern in there. Like I really want to see what his pattern is. I don't know what his pattern is. Fareed, he's pattern A plus small pattern and dense, really dense dots, which I'm not sure how that fits. And he seems to have a mask, but I really want to see this pattern on an, in like a different color. Um, but let's see what type of name we're going to give La Coco. I have like a ton of names. Um, you can always leave me names in the description, not the description box, in the comments, guys. I always just copy and paste them onto my Google document. Um, ooh, let's give her, let's go with Nia, because I think it's pretty, and it's also the first thing I thought I saw. So Nia is going to be the newest baby. Um, let's see, I really want to try one more time. Fareed, help us out here. All right, cool. So we're going to try one more time as everybody's moving and picking up food. Let's see. And there's no more food here. So Darko is going to pick that up. Let's have Lufty come over here, pick up these berries. Let's have him go this way to see if there's any food over here. We're really trying to see if we can find all of the food available so that we can just kind of do a hit and run and <laughs> try and get trying to get away so Rasira, i'm gonna sit here and pick those berries um maybe nope we missed the we missed them all um so let's clear this out and we're just gonna pick up a lot of nesting material in butros it's definitely going to be encouraging his siblings to move as quickly as they can so that they can get to the next part the next island 
So, because I don't think we want to make sure that Abaya and Farid can get there. Like, I want them to see the new place. I think that's something that she would want. <gasps> pretty purple, pretty white, pretty white, pretty white. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Ranname. Oh, and she has medium body. She has claw. Oh, she's pretty. And she is A and star. Oh my gosh. Amit, Amit, I found you a girl. I found you a girl, Amit. Oh my gosh. A meat? Yeah, let's go with the meat because it sounds better. A meat. Look, she's so pretty. <gasps> I like her. And she has claw. She's definitely. I think that's going to be a definitely a sisterly duo. <gasps> Two girls in each in each pair in each side of our island. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. It's definitely gonna be interesting to see how the the tribe ends up splitting up. Um, we might keep them all together and they might end up being like different colors so we'll end up coloring all their dots different to designate that this is our gatherer side and this is our strength side so it'll we'll be able to see kind of how each line progresses oh my gosh this is so exciting so she's adorable what are we gonna name her I really want to name her one of our snow names everybody gave me a lot of snow names at one point um Let's go with, um, I want like female names. Here they go. Um, Drifa. Oh, that's pretty. I like this one. Drifa. So Drifa is the next, the other female to Rasira who is going to be leading our, basically our warrior section of our tribe, which I, I absolutely love this idea. Thank you so much, Trinket. Trinket gave me this idea. She put it down in the comments. Um, I love this. This is a great idea because it means that we are able to like kind of explore the different sides of the different tribes and the different ways that the um, tribe will be able to like manifest itself especially because we have like those new poison um the new poison berries that we'll be able to start picking if we have if we show up on an island that has those so it's going to be really cool um let's see we're gonna pick more of these berries pick more berries let's clear away some more grass Let's have Nadir come this way so he can explore. Let's have Boutros finish clearing the stuff out. And let's have Amit come this way. So Amit finally has Amit, Drifa, and Amit are going to be so cute. I think um, Drifa is going to be definitely looking to her sister as like an amazing as a as like a, a mild mentor especially if a once a bio passes away um but oh this is going to be so interesting and it looks like we only had two creatures with that that pale white color so uh, Boutros and Drifa are our two really pale creatures and Drifa we're going to move you this way and we're going to just start taking getting rid of these bushes is what I'm thinking we're just gonna start clearing them out so we're gonna have Lufti get rid of that bush and we're gonna have Adira and then Farid is gonna start moving this way and let's see he's gonna have to clear that one out and then we're gonna have to get um, maybe Rasira to clear that one out next and then let's see we're gonna have can he do it no a meat can't do it let's let's try there we go and so everybody's just gonna start moving this way so we can get rid of all the berry bushes on the island and kind of move forward because we really want to get onto this port. So Boutros is going to light the way. Lufti is going to kind of sit over here and wait for his mate. Um, everybody is not too old. The only one that's getting older is Boutros. And Abaya and Abaya and Farid have four days left. No, Farid has five days left. I, mean, I was trying to figure out why the male lives longer than the female when you have Eve and Adam. I'm not sure why, but meh. 
so everybody's moved so we're just gonna try and push everyone to the next side of the island so we're gonna get Nia to jump that way oh she's so pretty I love it so she's gonna stay on this side um, we're gonna get ooh a bunny um, yeah we're gonna leave it and then Fareed is going to jump this way and then we're gonna get let's see go here and we're gonna get to do 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 Marcia, clear away that bush she's gonna go that way I think Abaya and then let's have we're gonna, end up, we're gonna end up leaving that one let's see she has medium body so I don't think she'll be able to take that one out so we're gonna clear that go here and go here and then put him here and then a meat let's go this way and let's put him right there and right now we're just waiting for Drifa who I think she's gonna be able to move quickly and then we're waiting for Rasira in the on her side of her side of the of the tribe and then we're waiting for D Drifa and this is going to be so interesting so all right next all right so we should have enough food to last us so we're gonna just jump everyone over here come on Drifa let's sit you sit you right next to Boutros get real comfy Darko you're gonna go here and Rasira, you're gonna go right there so look everybody's separated by their by who they're going to be mates with oh my gosh it's almost exactly by that so we have Adri Adira and her side of the family and we have Drifa and her mate and Rasira and all of her mates so this is gonna be interesting and I think Abaya is actually extremely pleased with herself she has a lot of big bodied clawed children who will be able to pass down genes so they'll be they already look more imposing than her tribe used to be so she's I think she's extremely happy about that so let's just exit this island and travel and see where we end up hopefully we can kind of see some more of those I know someone said that there are some like some unlocking islands maybe that we'll be able to check out and see and possibly be able to jump to i'm not sure how we unlock islands though i might have to check the forums Ooh, there's a leech can we can we get it let's kill it there we go and wait why is she far away now drifa come back all right so where are wow we're on a little well it looks like there's a poison area which is interesting it looks a lot like the area that we got ended up getting onto when we were in our um, in our Tariq tribe. It looks a lot like that, um, but it looks like we're gonna have to navigate this small sandbar. It looks a little bit like a sandbar, and try and get maybe over to this tree so that we can kind of get our bearings. There's a there's another grassy port over here. Oh my gosh, the ports are like right next to each other. That's so interesting. So we could have arguably two sets of two sets of families go different ways and then we have one port all the way down here interesting so we might end up just getting set up right in this little area right here and then having a set of creatures pass pass down that way to get to the next spot all right cool so i'm actually i'm actually okay with this and so there are lots of clams the sandbar looks nice we have a lot of creatures who could possibly have some form of um some form of fishing ability so this is actually pretty good um so we're just gonna wait for we have to wait for drifa to age up <laughs> not age up this is in sims 4 but to get older um so farid i think would be extremely intrigued by the new area and he's like look food everything looks okay 
And so we have a Baya, and I think she would be interested just to have like a space to see everyone, to see her family and see how they've grown and see where they've gone and how far they've gone. And we have Adira and we need to get her. Why is Adira so far away from her mate? Like I put them in together for a reason. Ooh, okay, so maybe, can we, can someone, can someone fish? Can she fish? She can't fish. No, she can't fish. Dang it. Okay, so we're gonna get Lufty and Adira. So we're going to mark them with blue so I don't forget. Because this that's a thing that I do. I forget things. And so we're gonna mate. And everybody seems fine. So we're just going to get her to come this way. Um, we might end up sitting her right here to have her first baby, but I might think we might want to wait a little bit before we get off this sandbar. Because I've done this before where you've, you're have you stuck on a sandbar having babies and they just kind of get stuck here. So you kind of, I want to make sure that we can get farther in to our grassy, new grassy island. Um, Boutros, who should be the first one? Rasira deems to be her mate. Um, she's picky. And I didn't even mess with the mutation menu. Ugh, I forgot. Um, because it's it's like a lot harder than the other one. So this mutation menu, we have we she already has good eyesight. She has good eyesight. We just want to put in um hind legs. And I really want that pattern. So who which pattern does she have? Maybe we can add in we might end up adding nimble fingers, maybe? Because she's going, this side of the tribe is going to be more berry pickers. So let's add in nimble fingers. There we go. And that should be fine. And then Lufty, what do you have? He has eyes. And then we'll add, so he has weird eyes. So we'll just add the regular eyesight. And then we'll add nimble fingers as well. No! Oh my gosh. And then just add eyes. There we go. That should work. And then... Let's see. We Who next do we need to... Okay, Rasira. So Rasira needs eyes and she already has claw. What do we want? We want to make sure her kids have claw. Um... So she needs eyes. Do we have the ability to add claw? No, we do not. Um... What am I thinking? We might be able to try and add that patterning in because it definitely looks makes them look imposing. Um, she is good fertility. I, I really like that pattern. So we're just gonna go with pattern B, I think. Yeah, pattern B. Because that seems to be the one that's shown up on everyone. So pattern B is, no, he is pattern D, but everybody seems to have pattern B. No, he has pattern D. This is interesting. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Patterns are weird to me. So we'll figure it out. So we're going to see... Okay, Rasira, and then who is going to work? So we're going to put her here. Boutros, since you're the oldest, I think you should be the first to be the first mate of our warrior tribe. So let's see. Okay, so minor glitch, but I was able to fix it. So Boutros, what were the ones that we were looking at? You needed hind legs and that's about it. So, and we can't add poison fang, can we? Can we? No, we can't add poison fang yet. So that's big nose, Birina snout, poison fang. Requires the following gene, toxic body. How do we get toxic body? Perform collect on toxic berry bush 50 times. Requires one of the following genes. Medium body, lean body, spiky body. Um, well, we have meat, lean body. Um, but we're just going to add in hind legs for him. And then I want his... I want claw on him, but we can't do that. Velvet paw, web paw, crippled paw, digging paw, claw. It means attack 1150, so we'll have to attack something again. But we'll, so far, we'll add in his pattern. So it's pattern D. There's a very high likelihood that one of their children will have claw, though. So we're just going to see. So he's going to get her pregnant and dash off this way. And then we're going to just kind of start moving everyone 
to kind of work as a unit to go off into the wilderness and probably pick food and see what it's like on this new island and come on Nia we're gonna move you this way and then there's Nadir who is going to be shuffling forward here we go so I think this is where we're gonna end this part right here you guys we have done a lot today it looks like we're going to definitely start seeing the kind of dissection or the uh, sectioning there it is the sectioning of our tribe off into the two different two different um rules or skill or rules of thought where we're gonna have Rasira and her gang of boys run off in one direction and then we're gonna have Adira and her mate and her sister go in one direction in a different direction in regards to making sure that the the tribe is fed taking after their father and Rasira taking after the wonderful and great and powerful Abaya who um is extremely uh, <laughs> Uh, misleading with her tiny body but is a um an extremely powerful and um imposing creature to all of her children so this is where we're gonna end this part right here you guys if you enjoyed this video please let me know down in the comments please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys next time bye